The new iOS 26.2 is just around the corner. We're currently on the RC version, which has been released this week, and most likely on Monday, we're getting iOS 26.2 released to the public. If not, there is a chance that that might be an RC2, but there is very unlikely. I believe that Apple must release and should probably release iOS 26.2 tomorrow monday and that's december the 8th now of course the update is great with a lot of new features and changes so in today's video i will show you guys eight amazing things that your iphone can do on the new ios 26.2 and we're starting first off with alarms on reminders as you probably know iOS 26.2 now allows us to add alarms to your reminders, which is a feature that a lot of users have been requesting from Apple. Now, there is more to this feature than just getting an alarm when there is a reminder. You can actually do a lot more. You can actually snooze a reminder, and you can do that directly from the lock screen. So you can see right now, let's just wait here for a few seconds until it goes off, and you will have here a couple of options, and I will show you guys how to enable those options in a minute here. So once you see the alarm on your lock screen, you will then be able to actually go ahead and snooze it directly from here. So you can see we have two different options. We can complete or we can slide to stop. If you slide to stop, that means that you have actually now snoozed the alarm for your reminder. Now that works of course the same way that it works with snoozes on like normal alarms that you set on your clock app. But you will notice another feature right here, the live activity that you get once you snooze the alarm. Now, iOS 26.2 won't let you forget about your reminder once you snooze it, because it will keep it right here on the lock screen. And as you can see, we have here the reminders title, and then we have here the do, you can see it shows the seconds and it will show the minutes. And then we also have a reschedule button, which now allows to basically go ahead and reschedule that reminder for another time directly from here. And that's really, really useful. But what you will also see here if we unlock the device is that it won't not only show on the lock screen, but it shows on the home screen as well. And that will be shown right there on the dynamic island. So once you snooze your reminder, you will have it on your dynamic island right there. So of course you don't forget about your reminder. Now you can go ahead and tap right here. It shows you basically the time. Of course we can go ahead and go into the reminder right here itself directly from the dynamic island, which is really awesome. Now, as I showed you guys, you can actually complete the reminder directly from the alarm. Now, to do that, you will need to go to the reminder settings. And from here, just head on down here and you will find something called complete from alarm. Now you enable it right here and once the alarm goes off, you will have that complete button. Now all you have to do there is just use the complete button and in that case, you will have completed the reminder directly from the lock screen, from the alarm screen, without actually having to go into the reminders app at all. Now we have a ton of new features and changes for the podcast app as well. And here's one that I really like. If you're on a podcast, you will now get auto generated chapters for your podcast. So similar to chapters that you see here on the YouTube videos, but basically the podcasts don't have to do that by themselves. They will be automatically generated by iOS 26.2. So you all you have to do is of course, go to the three dots right here, and you will see something like this and then just tap right there, it will bring down a menu where you will have all the different chapters that it will actually generate automatically for the podcast that you're listening to. Now what's really cool here, another thing that you can do from the podcast app on iOS 26.2 is that now you can find or visit links directly from a podcast. So if you're on a podcast and they're talking maybe about like an, a book or a music album, you will actually get those like right here on the podcast app. So let's just 
open another podcast here. So if we go to another podcast, you can see if we go right here to the details, it shows something called from this episode. Now this will be shown also on the now playing screen right here while you're playing the podcast. And in this case, you can go ahead and just visit whatever link that is. And in this case is Apple Fitness there. So whether they talking about a book or maybe a music album, or mentioning someone, you can actually go ahead and now visit that directly from here. Now, one of the apps that has gotten a lot of cool updates is the game app. That of course is a new app that Apple introduced with iOS 26. So if we go right here on the game app and we go to the library section, now we will have the ability to easier find anything we need. Like if we go here, you can see we can go to the recent game first, name of the games, or maybe even the size of the game, which is really awesome. Now you will see right here, it doesn't show all the games that I, I played because I have filtered them based on controller support. So if you want to know which of your games do support a controller, you simply tap right here and it shows you the games that have controller support, which is really awesome. Now you can filter also the games based on the device. So maybe just show the games that you have on this current device, or maybe games from Apple Arcade or games that your friends are playing, or maybe even just go to any category of game that you want to see. So right here, if we go to racing, it will just basically just remove all the other games and show me the racing games. But in this case, you can see we have more than one filter. So we show here the games from racing, but that do also have controller support. Now, one feature that is actually really, really cool, but unfortunately, it won't be available for everyone on iOS 26.2, but hopefully in the near future, it will, is the ability to actually choose any assistant you want and place it right here on the side button instead of Siri. So you know when you tap and press and hold this button, you will get Siri on your device. Well, with the new iOS 26.2, if you live in Japan, then you can actually replace that with anything you want, whether you want to use like Gemini or ChatGPT, any other assistant you want to use, you can just now map it right there on the side button instead of having the default Siri. Again, it's only for Japan, but hopefully very soon we're getting it in other countries as well. And last but not least, we're moving to the password settings. So head on to apps, go to passwords, and then down here you will have a new section called show excluded websites. So basically what it's showing here are websites that have asked you to save the password when you sign in, but you didn't do it. And those websites are of course excluded now. So when you go back to that website, it won't, you, it won't ask you again to do that. But in the case you wanna save the, the password for that website the next time you go there, then all you have to do is come here, tap on show excluded website, websites and then right here we'll see a list of all the excluded websites and you can go ahead and remove the website from here once you have it removed then you can go back to that website and again it will ask you then to go ahead and save your information for that website so that's basically it for this video guys these are eight amazing things that your iphone can now do on the new ios 26.2 which should come out very very soon hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one